नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदधा भगवदगीते भवत्षिणी ओ भगवत गीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ बिस्टोर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डियालिज्म ओ गॉडेस consisting of the 18 chapters o oh, my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee krishna vandana vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanura mardanam devakim paramanandam krishnam vande jagat gurum O son of Vasudeva, the slayer of Kansa and Chanur, extreme delight for Mother Devaki. O Krishna, the supreme teacher of the universe, my salutations to you. So today we are going to read thirty-seventh uh, verse, thirty-seventh shlok of the first adhyay of the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna Vishad Yoga. again <clears throat> arjuna is talking to shri krishna pleading to him and what he says in this shlok tasman narha vayam hantum dharta rashtran svabandhavan svajanam hi katham hatva sukhina syam madhav now here shri krishna is being addressed by arjuna as madhav so arjuna says tasman tasmat na arha ha tasmat is therefore na not arha ha is justified vayam hantum we vayam is we hantum to kill dharta rashtran स्व बांधवान द सन सब धृतराष्ट्र एंड माय ब्रदर्स अवर रिलेटिव स्वजनम ही कथम हत्वा स्वजनम इज माय ओन पीपल माय नियर एंड डियर वन किन्समैन ही वेरीली कथम हाउ हत्वा हैविंग किल्ड सुखी न श्याम माधव सुखी ना बी हैप्पी हू बी हैप्पी श्याम मे वी ओ माधव ओ माधवा एंड नाउ अर्चुना इज अगेन जस्टिफाइंग द स्टेट दैट ही हैज गॉट इन टू द डेस्परेट स्टेट दैट ही हैज गॉट इन टू Arjuna is justifying to Sri Krishna, and he says, "We should therefore not slay the sons of Dhritarashtra, our brothers, because how can we be happy killing our own kinsmen, O Madhava?" Now look at this uh, sudden, uh, you know, rise of. Uh, comradeship the camaraderie the brotherhood the me and uh, my near and dear ones feeling now arjuna says that uh, that uh, they, therefore therefore we should not slay this uh, sons of dhritarashtra you see again arjuna is not uh, uh, accepting a fact that if 
the war happens, something bad may come to him. No. Arjun very so confident that way internally that if the war is waged, he sees the destruction of the Kaurava army. That much he is confident. But now there is some kind of a delusion that has got created. And he says, therefore, we should not kill our own brothers. We should not kill the sons of Dhritarashtra. He is not afraid that sons of Dhritarashtra will kill him and his brothers. No. He knows that that is not going to happen. And at one point of time, says, even if that happens, so what? But time and again, he is repeating this, that we should not destroy them. We should not bring any harm to them. Because if the war is waged, we are definitely going to be victorious. And taking a pity on them, that why should they be destroyed? Why should they be slayed? Why should they be killed in this war? Now, Arjuna is talking all this uh, nonsense to Sri Krishna. And that is the reason he says, no, we should not kill them. They are our own brothers. They are our kinsmen. And having killed our kinsmen, having killed our own near and dear ones, how can we be happy, O oh Madhava? And as if Arjuna is uh, intending to tell Sri Krishna, will you be happy after killing them? Arjuna doesn't know that Sri Krishna is beyond happiness and pain, beyond happiness and misery, beyond pleasure and pain. Shri Krishna is beyond that. So, now in this 37th shloka, Arjuna is pleading with Shri Krishna that we should not kill them. We should not kill our own brothers, the sons of Dhritarashtra, for having killed our own people. How can we be happy, O Madhava? That is the question he has put up to Shri Krishna now. So, that was the 37th shloka. Let us see what further uh, comes up in the subsequent uh, uh, verses. Till then, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Shri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Shri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swami